Welcome to Santa Rosa Village. This village is home to our freshman population of students and our incoming first year students that are new to the college experience. Here we have over 550 residents that live with us. They are separated into 15 pods with 39 students living in each pod. Each pod has one resident advisor or RA that takes uh, good care of our students. They provide them with resources, a plethora of examples to engage in their college experience and how to get the most of the not only the housing experience but their academic journey as well so let's go ahead and head inside and check out our community living room Welcome to our community living room. In here we have ping pong, pool, many activities and spaces for our students to either study or engage in attending events. We'll go ahead and head through our community space and then we'll check out our community kitchen. Welcome to our Santa Rosa Village community kitchen. Here we have stove tops, microwaves, ovens, and plenty of space to either cook with the people on your floor or other residents in your community, as well as we occasionally hold cooking classes for you to learn how to spice up some ramen or prep a four course meal. Welcome to our Santa Rosa Village laundry room. Here we have washers and dryers, it's $1.25 to wash and $0.75 cents to dry. You'll see many laundry rooms throughout our tour today. Each laundry room is $2 a load. Follow me over to check out our showroom. Here we have our proximity locks. This is where you take your key card, you place it up to the lock, type in your code, press pound, and the doors will let you in. Welcome to an example of our Santa Rosa Village room. Our Santa Rosa rooms are typically double occupancy. Each room has two beds, two sets of dresser drawers with three drawers apiece, two desks, two desk chairs, two desk cabinets, as you can see here. Each room has a mini refrigerator as well as a shared closet space. Welcome to your family room. Every single family room has a toaster, drawing rack, sink, filtered water, so you have filtered water directly on your floor, a Keurig, we also have additional appliances, and a fridge and freezer for you. Check out one of the spaces on all of our floors where students can go to study as well as print. All of our printing is free. You just need to provide the paper. As we're leaving our pod and heading over to Santa Cruz Village, I want to remind you that each pod houses 39 residents and they have one RA, which is our resident advisors. Our resident advisors are here to help and support the students, provide them with resources, as well as get them acclimated to their college experience. Right here, we're walking through our courtyard as we head over to Santa Cruz Village. This is where we host dances, um, we have gatherings, as well as host RA events. Welcome to Santa Cruz Village G1 Lounge. This is another space where we hold events and it also houses one of our community kitchens. We have two in Santa Cruz Village. Each community kitchen has a stove, fridge, microwave, toaster oven, and a sink. Here is our Santa Cruz Village laundry room, also equipped with washers and dryers. Same price, $2 to wash and dry one load, and then you're all set. We have arrived to our Santa Cruz Village office. Right here you can see all of our mailboxes, one assigned to each side of the room. So you and your roommate share a mailbox together, but then the people that live right next door to you or that are in your same suite and you share a wall, they'll have a different mailbox. You can also check out our massage chair, ready to use during the academic year to get some rest and relaxation.
This is one of our study rooms in Santa Cruz Village. Many of our study rooms have whiteboards where you can either practice for classes, studying, um, whatever your uses are. We also have this area sometimes used for games. Um, people will come together in the evening, whether it's playing Pictionary, which is a great use of the boards, um, or other strategy games. Welcome to our media room. We have two sets of couches, two TVs. This area is used sometimes to watch movies, um, Super Smash Bros tournaments, all kinds of different activities. We'll go ahead and check out the rest of the game room. In our game room, we have multiple pool tables, air hockey, ping pong. We have a card table for card games, foosball, Pac-Man, and as you can see, amazing art all over the walls designed by our students. We also have our second community kitchen. This is also where students can cook, make some cookies. We do have dishwashers also equipped in our community kitchens. Here is our Santa Cruz Village Fitness Room. As you can see, we have a variety of equipment. Almost all of our equipment in this space is powered by human use. Um, so we value sustainability and want to always make sure we reduce our carbon footprint. So we often invest in sustainable equipment such as self-powered um, machines for your fitness journey. We also have water refill stations. These are throughout a lot of our village spaces. Um, so if you need to quick do a quick fill up, whether you're working out or on your way to class, Santa Cruz Village and Anacapa Village have those stations available for you. Welcome to Creativity and Expression. In our Santa Cruz Village Art Room, we also have one in Anacapa Village. Students can paint, draw, and just design directly on the walls. This is an area for their creative expression, and it's great to see what our students come up with. Let's check out a music room. Here we have one of our three music rooms where we can go play some keyboard. You can also bring and practice your own instrument. We're more than happy to welcome all different types of instruments and music as you either practice for your concert, different music classes that we have on campus, or if you're just practicing for one of our upcoming talent shows. As we pass through this hallway, this is an area where our live-in staff members, so these are full-time professional staff members that live on campus to help support on-call emergency response, as well as our resident advisors and other student groups such as RHA, which is our Residence Hall Association, and our desk assistants. In this hallway, we have many amenities. While we won't have time today to go into every single one, we have our computer room, dance room, and also a conference room equipped with a whiteboard and seating area for either study groups, meetings, etc. Welcome to our E1 Lounge. This is a great area to come, relax, take a break in between classes, or hang out with friends. We also utilize these spaces to hold events. Welcome to a Santa Cruz Village room. We have our bathroom over here, and then you can also follow me into the bedroom so you can check out our space. Many of our Santa Cruz rooms also are double occupancy like our Santa Rosa Village rooms. They have two beds, two desks, two desk chairs, and two desk cabinets. You also have two separate um, drawer sets with three drawers apiece and two closet areas. As we head out, we'll feel free to check out our double vanity sink as well as our pantry area where you can find two mini fridges, one for each room inside each suite as well as a microwave. Welcome to Anacapa Village. This is home to our upperclassmen students, returning residents, and incoming transfer students. These are apartment style living accommodations with four bedrooms in each apartment as well as two bathrooms. Now let's go ahead and get a closer look at one of our apartments. We are now standing in an Anacapa Village apartment. So again, two bedrooms and a bathroom, two bedrooms and a bathroom. We also have a dining space in our kitchen area, 
as well as a living room. Each room is equipped with a full-size fridge, stove, microwave, and dishwasher, as well as a pantry. Here is an Anna Kappa bedroom, occupied by one individual, and they share a bathroom with one other person. Let's check out the bathroom. Now join me in checking out some other amenities available to our Anacapa residents and the rest of our community. We are now leaving A Building in Anacapa Village. A Building is home to one of our conference rooms available for students to use as another common area, as well as our Residence Hall Association, also called RHA, home to their office where you can utilize your grades to cash in dolphin dollars that you can then trade for CI swag as well as testing supplies. You can also check out our care package program. Um, you'll get mailers over the summer that have more information about how to get some sweet treats sent to you throughout the year and they have so many more opportunities. Definitely listen out for your general board meeting that starts at the beginning of each year and then occurs regularly throughout each semester. Ask your RA about becoming a floor rep and they have much more information to share about how you can get involved and get the most out of your housing experience. This is our Anna Kappa Village Courtyard, one of a few others, but this one houses our outdoor barbecue grill. Here we have equipment available in our office that you had just passed, our Anna Kappa Village office, where you can check out grilling supplies and we provide the propane. All you have to do is bring the protein and veggies and have at it with your community. Welcome to our pool and hot tub area. Feel free to take a look around. Welcome to our Anna Kappa Commons. Here we hold many events, and then a regular occurrence in our Anna Kappa Commons is our RHA, also mentioned previously, Residence Hall Association. This is where we hold our general board meetings. All of the floor reps, so that's one individual at a minimum, um, selected by each floor to represent their floor, meet here every other week with the general board, and they make up the general board to be able to vote um, contribute, engage, volunteer. There's so many different avenues of involvement through RHA. So this is a space where they meet. We also have movie nights. We hold a community kitchen here. While we know that Anna Kappa has kitchens in each of their apartments, we have another community kitchen in case you'd like to have more of a communal space to come together. It also helps having our outdoor barbecue really close by. You also have a kitchen in order to prep. Go ahead and follow me out and we'll conclude our tour. Thank you so much for joining us for featuring our Santa Rosa Village, Santa Cruz Village, and Anna Kappa Village today on our tour. If you'd like to check out our town center, please feel free to check out our YouTube channel for more information on that type of accommodation. Again, we look forward to seeing you during the academic year and we hope you have an amazing time at CSU Channel Islands.